Hi, how you doing there folks? I'm making this video right now to talk about the New York City Transit Cuts service reductions that that the MTA wants to make and they are totally unacceptable. It is totally unacceptable that Governor Mr. Saturday Night Drive, David Patterson over here, is making $145 million in cuts to the MTA budget. Number one, mass transit cuts should not be made absolutely. I'll explain why. First, let me talk about the cuts that the MTA wants to make. $27 million in subway service cuts. There's going to be two whole subway lines that are going to be eliminated, number one. Number two, what is going to end up happening is trains will not come as often and will be more overcrowded than they already are. Number two, number two. Number three, there's going to be whole bus routes that are going to be eliminated. Whole bus routes that will not run bus routes that will not run overnight. There's going to be bus routes that will no longer run on the weekends. Number three. And bus routes that will be that will that will have parts of them where they will not no longer run anymore or and will there'll be schedules where they will not come as often okay folks now this is absolutely unacceptable and it's all because of governor david patterson cutting 145 million dollars from the mta's budget now this is absolute. Now I'm going to explain why mass transit cuts should not be made at all. Number one, number one, cutting mass transit. These cuts go through is going to result in a very big increase in the amount of people they are driving. It's going to be very harmful for the planet. It's going to be much less. There's going, to be, there's going to be much less people using mass transit, more people driving, there's going to be more pollution, more traffic congestion, possibly, possibly within 50% of what we saw during the transit strike. Higher asthma rates, number two, and people that are driving that are going, oh, no, no, not me, I don't want to pay, I don't want to pay three cents more a gallon. For, for you know, so, so to prevent these cuts from being made, well, no funny duddies, get this to your head. But the, with the mass transit cuts that that Governor Chris Christie is doing in New Jersey, which is going to result in the same thing, and with these cuts, if they're allowed to go through, there's going to be an increased demand of people buying gasoline. As a result, of 20, 15 to 25 percent more cars in the road, you are going to be paying more than three cents a gallon. Because where the where the increased demand for gasoline happens, the cost of a gallon of gas is going to go up, and you've already seen that. What's it now? Over three dollars a gallon? How about five dollars a gallon, folks? Now my plan is is that the gasoline tax should be raised three cents. Two cents would go to support mass transit. The other one percent would go towards towards upkeeping for roads and bridges in New York State. And this would prevent the draconian service cuts from from happening. Plus, people are going to be stranded. People are going to be stranded as a result of these cuts. There's most of the people that ride then depend on these buses and subways within ghettos. People that are poor that cannot afford a car. You know, not everybody not everybody is making big money in New York. You know? And these these cuts are undoubtedly going to strand many people and there are there are trains that are crowded even at one in the morning. Taking the D train from Grand Street to Brooklyn at 12.50 a.m. 
there were hardly any seats on this train, and I ended up standing all the way to 36th Street. All the way to 36th Street in Brooklyn, coming from Grand Street at 12.50 a.m., folks. Subway service needs to be expanded, not cut. Now, now, now the MTA made up their minds. They want to shove these cuts right down our throats. They're not even giving us an opportunity to pay more to not have to have this done, folks. And these cuts fill a book almost over a half an inch thick. And that's total, it's totally not fair. <laughs> you know, and a lot of people left with the left with the with the sting of having these cuts made or paying more just to have these cuts not made, but rather these cuts were not made. And another thing is I don't understand Governor Patterson needs to resign. I think I think Richard Ravage is much more capable of taking over he has much more of a creative mind when it comes to when it comes to increasing revenue, you know, and and to, and to not to not to not impose hardship on people, which Governor David Patterson wants to do. Governor David Patterson is heartless. This guy right there is heartless. You see, you see that happy smile on his face. This is a smile of a rich man, folks. The only problem is, is that most people in New York State are not lucky enough to be richy like him. <laughs> Governor Patterson needs to resign, needs to resign now, and let someone who is capable of running New York State to take over, which is Richard Ravage.